Okay, this is the tutorial on how to use the pen tool as uh, for your masks. A little bit more tricky than, than others, so it's over here. So you might have used the, the elliptical one, which does ovals, or the, the one that does squares as well, and rectangles. The pen tool, quite a bit more tricky, okay? So make sure you've got no other masks on at the moment. If you've got a mask, just click on the word and delete it. I'll demonstrate that again in a second. So I'm going to click on the on the tool. My mask appears. It's now active, okay? And then you sort of click and drag a little bit, okay? That's the easiest way to sort of do it, and you sort of end up with these nodes is what they're actually called okay and then we go around but you can sort of do funky shapes as well so say I just wanted to include this one as well because for cinema graphs you can't really have two masks at the same time okay there we go and just like the other one I don't know if you can see that but there's sort of a line that you can sort of use to to um, feather it it's like a double line around the outside um, on that which is quite tricky okay so now when I play this it's frozen that okay where the mask is but that isn't what I want that's as usual the other way around is what I want so I'm gonna go back over here and invert it which will then allow me to have the those two puddles with rain great thing about the this tool is you can go back in and move stuff okay so if you've missed a little bit so if you've got quite a tricky Cinema graph, maybe there's someone's face that you need to sort of go around the edges because maybe they've moved a little bit. This can work really well to sort of fix those little bits and issues. Uh, if it's all going horribly wrong, you want to click back on here on the actual mask section, okay, and delete it. It will go away and you can start again. It's worth a, a bit of practice with a pencil and you can get some very good results. Enjoy.